This is the Sportsman's Wood Saw made by Gerber. Many may know of it by the name of Gerber Slide Saw and that's because of the way the blade actually slides out and back in to the handle. You unlock the blade by simply turning this knob, sliding the blade out, then relocking the blade in place so it doesn't move back into the handle. Have I used this saw for anything other than cutting the limbs off of pine trees, etc.? Yes, absolutely. If you watch my videos over the years, you know that I've used this tool for clubs, throwing sticks, spears, walking sticks, torches, hardwoods, softwoods, oak, cherry, pine, sycamore, you name it. It's been there, and this saw is actually still sharp. This one I carry most of the time when I go into outdoor situations. For me, convenience and reliability are key to my choices in gear. Other factors are price and of course do I use it. And yes, I have been using this. This is my preferred carry for several years now. Uh, there are a couple features that got me hooked on this saw. For one thing, it's lightweight and compact in comparison to a same price saw. It has a smaller handle and blade that makes it convenient for fitting in my cargo pockets for my pants, my BDU pant and shirt pockets, my jacket pockets, and so on. Small deployment bags fits right in. So that's a factor that hooked me in. Also the blade. It's a double cut stainless steel blade that's six and a half inches long. And let me show you the difference between the two blades of the same price and almost same size. So not a huge difference in size, but this saw blade is a double cut saw blade, whereas this one is not. And the difference there is when you're cutting with this saw blade, it takes longer to cut and it doesn't cut in a wide enough groove and you can see the end is bent because I end up binding with this saw. And I've rarely used this saw. Had it for years, rarely used it because of that fact. This saw I use all the time and no bending because of no binding, the double cut cuts a nice wider groove and it cuts faster. And by the way, this saw blade came razor sharp from the factory. You don't want to slip with this knife and catch yourself. You'll lacerate yourself. This knife, not so sharp. I mean, you might just scrape yourself. Another difference is the handle. See, with this handle, you have more of a grip. This handle is less of a grip, but it's more of a solid handle. I have had no problems with the strength of this handle. There's a different catch for the blade. This one folds and it catches like so. Probably a more secure catch, whereas this one slides and is screwed down to be tight. Another difference in the handle is that this one has an actual lanyard hole this one has a hole, but it's a pegboard hole. You wouldn't want to put a lanyard through that because your blade's going to hit it. That's the difference in the handles. You can see there's not a huge difference in size, but the little bit taken off the handle and the blade on the Gerber makes it small enough to fit in pockets that this saw will not fit into. But this larger one will fit in my deployment bag, although it does catch getting it in and out. This one, I mean, it just drops right in. Nice and easy. Quick insert and removal. But here's the seller. This is a small fanny pack. This one is not going to fit. It'll go down there, but you're not going to seal it. That metal piece just sticks out. Whereas this one fits right in. No problem. I find the same to be true with my cargo pants, BDUs, and my field jackets. This one just doesn't quite fit. You got to keep it on an angle and even on an angle just really doesn't fit into the pocket. The Gerber. Not only does it fit in the pocket, it'll set all the way down in the bottom of the pocket with no problem. Easy to put in, easy to take out. Yes, in this cargo pocket I can get this larger one to fit in it, but you have this 
metal nipple that's going to rub on the clothing and wear a hole. Whereas with the Gerber, there's no metal pieces that are going to rub on your clothing and create a hole. Saws like this are not designed for processing firewood. Use the tool for its application and you get better results and a longer lifespan for the tool. I use this for trimming small branches, taking down shrubbery, and shaping wood tools and traps, things of that nature. I recommend it's used for during trailblazing, clearing a campsite or fishing spot, climbing into a tree stand, clearing site for hunting, general bushcraft uses, etc. This saw I've had for years, like I said, rarely used. This saw carry it almost all the time. In fact, to me it was good enough to go out and purchase another one. The price differences between this saw is probably a couple dollars. This one, $9.99. This one I think I paid 12 bucks for it. Worth it for me to get another one. See, these short nubs, they're hard to break once they get this short. When you catch your pants or any clothing on there, it's going to tear. I've done it before. With one of these saws, you can take it down tight to the trunk of the tree. That way you're not going to tear your pants or cut yourself on them. You give yourself a nice place to sit or to lean up against.